Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. China is a special country in more ways than one. It has a lot to offer when you think about the Great Wall and the industrial advancements, but that aside, there's a dark side to China that would not only be of great concern to the country's immediate neighbors, but also the large international community as well as the country's population. Mysteries are kept under the rug thanks to very subtle censoring. Anytime there's a major crisis, be it a deadly virus or an attack on foreigners, it's sealed and the file is thrown away. Here are a few major things that happened in China that were pretty suspect. Number 10. The J-20 Fighter Jet The competition between China and the US is ridiculous. When the Americans came up with the F-22 fighter plane, the Chinese had a J-20 to match it. They finished the design and all initial testing phases were kept secret. Very cloak and dagger operations until 2018 when they presented it to the world. They, however, overpromised and underdelivered. This Supreme fighter jet had WS-15 engines that were supposed to make the F-22 look like child's play. It was utterly unbelievable when during a ground test in 2015, the jet exploded, making it fade in comparison to the American's F-22. This supposedly defense plane is still dealing with the WS-15 engine problems which might not be addressed soon. All the weaponry plans the Chinese have on it might have to wait a few more years. Number 9. Most new pharmaceuticals are fake. In 2016, the Chinese government decided to go undercover and check the authenticity of the pharmaceutical drugs in the country. They looked at the drugs that were pending approval. They opened a Pandora's box. The data from almost 1,622 clinical trials was controversial. They looked at the application process and the paperwork that was to be filled, the ingredients of the drugs, the manufactured dates and expiry dates. A whopping 80% of the data was fake and all the records that showed the dangers of a specific drug were erased. Information had been doctored to show that a drug was perfect. Some other vital information was either non-existent or non-conclusive. Most products were replicas of old ones. To make matters worse, some of the dealers did not do any experiments on the drugs, they just released them to the public as if they were guinea pigs. A whole bunch of people were part of this syndicate from scientists to laboratories to the pharmaceutical companies themselves. This was not just another case of greedy pharmaceuticals. Apparently, most of the pharmaceuticals face a lot of threats to produce new drugs or else face the risk of being eliminated from the industry altogether. Number 8. Presidential Enemy – Winnie the Pooh China is the home of mega-censorship. Everything and anything you can think about is censored in China. This is how Winnie the Pooh got into that prestigious list. What crime did Winnie the Pooh commit, you ask? Harmless, kiddie favorite Winnie, in some twisted fate, was caught in a bind and was being compared to President Xi Jinping. In 2013, a photo of Xi and then-President Obama walking alongside each other produced a comparison where a meme went viral of Winnie as Xi and Tigger as Obama. The comparisons grew, and again in 2014, when President Xi was with Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abel, Xi was Winnie the Pooh and Shinzo was Eeyore, the gloomy donkey. The Pooh Bear was wiped from existence in the life of Chinese children and anyone within the walls of China. Turns out the Chinese president didn't have such a great sense of humor. Number 7. Mysterious Breed-Ready List In 2019, a little-known Dutch researcher stumbled upon some rather classified data on the Chinese female population. This data had details of 1.8 million Chinese women. It had the whole shebang, their names, phone numbers, as well as their addresses. The very shocking additional data that seemed out of place was information on the fertility status of these women. There's a lot of speculation over this data. The researcher is said to have supposedly misread the data which was in Chinese and the English translations were not authentic. We all know the drama in China and childbearing. The Chinese estimate the average childbearing age to be 32. Apparently, there's a new problem in China with falling birth rates. This information can be both used by a hacker creating a dating app or the government who are interested in the prosperity of the country. Your guess is as good as mine. The data has since been removed and cannot be accessed on the public domain. Number 6. Electromagnetic Railgun Ever heard of a gun that uses electromagnetic energy rather than gunpowder? Only in China. This was first seen in 2011, and the said gun shoots projectiles at 2.6 kilometers per second. 
images as recent as 2019 showed a Chinese warship mounted with this unique gun. The Haiyang Shang, which was an 072 Mark II Yuting class tank landing ship, was first seen in the Yangtze River. People were of the opinion that the electromagnetic gun was being tested under sea conditions. Let's not even talk about the kind of firepower on this rail gun. It's enough to give China's enemies a scare. According to the US Defense Forces, China wants a warship with electromagnetic guns whose target can get hit from 200 kilometers away. How ambitious is that? Number 5. Reincarnation Must Obey Chinese Laws For the first time in history, a second Dalai Lama will be walking the Chinese streets. This is according to a Buddhist leader who stated it in an interview in 2019. The 83-year-old was selected and given the powers when he was only two years old. If you're a fan of the Dalai Lama, you know he lived in India after he fled the Chinese in his native land of Tibet. In Beijing, they're very serious about this state of affairs. They say the Dalai Lama must adhere to the laws of the land. These laws even have a name. New regulations on religious affairs and the rules on management of reincarnation of Tibetan living Buddha. According to this declaration, China has veto power to select the child who will be the next Dalai Lama. This can be very dangerous very quickly. The next in-line Dalai Lama will be under the China Communist Party, which is renowned for persecuting most religions. In 1995, there was a young boy who was identified as the Panchen Lama, which is the second highest rank before the Dalai Lama. The Chinese took the Tibetan boy into some sort of protective custody, and he's never been found since. At number 4. Dystopian Credit System The very able government of China gives people points. These are not any points, they're points that will determine the treatment you get at a hospital or the possibility of you catching a train ride. China's surveillance of its citizens is all in the name of population control. Given the fancy title of social credit system, these points are given to both citizens and businesses. To be in the good books, you have to pay your bills promptly, be involved in charitable activities, as well as be part of the recycling revolution. So what do you get for being such an upstanding citizen? Cheap travel, credit opportunities, and short waiting time at the hospital. Get this, China has 200 million CCTV cameras that are connected to facial recognition software. Upon recognition, the government has access to all your records. Smoking outside of smoking zones and jaywalking will reduce your points tremendously. Liu Hu, a well-to-do journalist, reported on government corruption and got the score of dishonest. He then lost access to public transport his social media was blocked, and in the end, his career destroyed. Number 3. Sonic Attacks In 2017, a group of American diplomats in Cuba were ill, and the dubious circumstances under which this happened pointed to it being a sonic attack. At one point, all the Cuban diplomats had been dispelled out of the US. A few months into 2018, the same thing happened in China. American diplomats in Gangsu were hearing funny noises, what followed were headaches and insomnia. One specific consulate was feeling pressure that later became brain trauma. The American government took its staff and families out of China. On the other hand, Chinese were not expelled from the US, but their relations were strained. This was after an investigation where they did not uncover anything to point to the Chinese wrongdoing. Number 2. China is hogging a lethal virus. After the H7N9 bird flu was discovered in China in 2013, it was agreed that samples were to be given to the US regularly. This agreement went quite well for some time. After a while, the Chinese stopped sending the samples and totally ignored requests to give even one more vial. H7N9 was approximately 40% fatal. The strain had the power to keep evolving. American scientists, understanding the shape-shifting nature of it, were in a better position to figure things out and prevent a pandemic from erupting. If a pandemic erupts out of proportions, it's hard to develop any form of vaccines without samples. In 2016 and 2017, new infections of H7N9 in China killed hundreds. Coronavirus that started in 2019 and continues in 2020 has led to the demise of many people and has been declared a global emergency. Is it related to H7N9? Only time will tell. And at number one, it's the terrifying organ trade. There's no shame in being efficient. In fact, it's a good thing. China is so efficient that while across the globe getting an organ transplant is always a waiting game, in China it's just a matter of weeks. Surely this is strange. 
In 2016 alone, a total of 640 organs were transplanted and the operations happened in just 10 days. The donors were 30 people, which, if you do the math, means they harvested 21 organs and parts from each person? China is known to pluck organs from prisoners against their will in the past. In 2019, a tribunal interviewed a few people who ascertained that this is still happening. A doctor once testified he was forced to remove organs from a man who was shot in the head and his body was still functioning when he did the operation. Other than criminals and people deemed to be anti-government, ethnic minorities and spiritual movements are also killed like animals. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch up my next video.